painful to deal with as a grown-up i know it's different when you're younger because everything seems a little bit more heightened but when you're a grown-up and you don't really have as many familial or no let's say you don't have as many like friendships or relationships i think when you get older they kind of start to decrease whether it's because people move on with life or they die or shit you know something happens but it seems like there's a sweet spot when you have all the friends in the world right when you're between the ages of like or oh, what would you say maybe like 13 14 to about 21 when you're like hot you know i mean you got like mad mad friends like legitimately you know bare people you walk into a house party and it's like oh it's safe 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 yeah you're welcome 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 do you know what i mean then then soon it just starts to slowly but surely level out to the point where you know you try and organize a birthday party and you're lucky to get 10 good people 10 proper friends in the room together it's difficult because everyone's doing their own thing but i just thinking the other day what's worse a bad breakup with somebody you're going out with in a relationship, right? Somebody you're dating or whatever you're in a long-term relationship with or a bad friendship breakup. What's worse, a bad relationship breakup or a friendship breakup? Now, I would say, from my own personal experience, for sure a friendship breakup because all the breakups I've had in relationships, for the most part, they've usually been me instigating the breakup because I'm a bad boy, of course. <laughs> um, or, and also, I have this weird tendency that when I'm over something, I, t I tend to like memory hole it Right, I tend to just to kind of pretend like it never happened, and kind of could just exist without ever remembering that, that situation was a thing. Obviously, it hurts for a period of time, but in long term, I can forget about it. But when it's a friendship breakup, for the most part, my most all of my friendship breakups anyway have usually been somebody saying, you know, quite unequivocally, like I don't want to be friends with you anymore, or purposely trying to like distance himself from me do you know what I mean which is a pure and utter rejection right that's pure utter rejection in like the clearest simple ways of even describing it there's no way you can kind of sugarcoat that that's just somebody saying I don't want to hang out with you anymore because the relationship thing is different it's different I don't know this year thing is different to process because I think in my head I'm like okay this person has love for you if the love goes you're not really friends and anyway. sometimes people say oh he's my best friend she's my best friend no you're not you're, you're going out you're fucking and if you don't, then there's no need to be together anymore, do you know what I mean? Because the friendship's not there, which is which also also which is what makes it even doubly difficult when you start dating your friends. Because there's a friendship there that you obviously don't want to ruin, but then maybe there's feelings that you want to explore and you know, you only live once. So why would you what would you rather? Would you rather live in the live in um uncertainty of never knowing that maybe your soulmate was right next to you this whole time? Or respect the boundaries of your friendship and just keep that to yourself. Who knows? It gets messy. But from my own experience, definitely getting people or when people decide they don't want to be your friends anymore or don't want to be your friend anymore at all, that's a blow that it's really difficult to take for the ego. Like incredibly difficult. I'm not going to lie. Um, I remember when that happened to me, it wasn't unexpected don't get me wrong because there was a lot of layers to the friendship that you know maybe some lines got crossed maybe some lines definitely did get crossed so it made the whole breakup thing more understandable but still when someone says i don't want to be your friend anymore i've got my i've got other friends now you know whatever void whatever whatever service you fulfilled for me in the past i've now replaced you with somebody else that's difficult to take it's probably as difficult when you see like a new an ex get with somebody else and they seem to be better than you in every stage way shape or form not even attractive but just as a person they seem to be a much better person you're like ouch but definitely i think friendship things are definitely harder to get over because Again, I don't know, man. I've, I mentioned it previously in another comment that someone replied to me when I was talking about some Berlin thing. Like, oh, you go on about, you go on, a, a, you talk about Berlin too much. You talk about clubs too much. It's like, I get it. I understand. It can be annoying, right? But I'm also of this point of view that when you're an adult, for me personally, I'm not sure about you guys, but when you're an adult, right, and you kind of, you've done all the things that you need to do in your, your kind of younger age, it's very difficult to find hobbies and interests that can kind of occupy your time outside of just drinking legitimately or eating out and stuff there's not really much else to do especially if you don't do sports and stuff right again i, I play sports i skateboard and shit i run i go to the gym so those things have kind of filled out but if you don't have all that stuff again because there's a lot of guys that like this that don't do any sports i don't play any sports don't watch any sports so imagine how kind of i wouldn't say empty but imagine how small of an option of interest and hobbies you have to pick from when you kind of minus all that stuff out so it's no surprise someone like myself when you suddenly do get a hobby or an interest or field that you're interested in when it comes to electronic music clubbing you know nightlife travel and all that sort of stuff there's n it's no wonder that i'm so obsessed with it and i get so like you know 
anal about it, right? And I keep talking about it on my podcast again and again and again because it's an interest and a hobby that occupies a lot of my time. It allows me to be geeky. It allows me to meet new and interesting people. And if anything, it keeps me forever young, forever vibrant, forever fresh, right? I feel like I'm alive again I'm because I'm learning new things all the time. I'm going to new places. I'm finding out about new club nights, new record labels, new this, new that. I'm digging in deeper. I'm looking at this person's Instagram account, following that person, showing the person this, 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 this. It's a really interesting space to be in. But I can understand when you look at it from the outside point of view, it's like, God, oh my, this guy's going on about this place again and again. Just move over there leave us alone do you know what I mean but it's not as simple as that of course but I think the same thing goes for friendships it's very difficult when you're older to find friends like legitimately gen genuine friends not talking about people that are just you know you're acquainted with people that you can legitimately call friends which is why a lot of people are so quick to like latch onto people they work with as friends because those are people that are sort of forced to get to know you over the period of like eight days five days per week at work even if it's really a zoom you're still getting to know each other a lot more than your you still get to talk to each other a lot more maybe than your actual friends get to talk to you and then over time that relationship blossoms it grows you start to go out to bars together maybe hang out more go for a dance and suddenly you're on holiday and then boom you become actual friends and you've crossed that little threshold of like acquaintances colleagues and then your friends or colleagues acquaintances whatever way it goes and then your actual friends so it's no surprise that if that person decides to cut you off it can be a blow that can be hard to recover from more so relationship wise because people fall out in and out of love all the time it's no big deal it can seem like a big deal but it is no big deal if you think about it but the friendship thing is like off like i've only got three and now you're leaving me that means i've only got two friends you know what i mean it's like it's a bit it's a bit hard to kind of grasp and to get around but i don't know i found nowadays maybe it's because of the lockdown and stuff i found people to be a lot more open to like getting to know people that they don't know before. I think London, one of the main things that was annoying about London in general, even especially in my time when I was coming up in the scene and stuff, um, especially in nightlife and whatnot, people were very clicky. People kind of kept their friends close to their chest or kept a, you know, kept a very close knit group of friends who were, and you know, who know, who were, um, oddly enough always had really cool jobs or working in cool industries or had cool friends right it was never just some random guy that works in morrison's as always my friend works in id my friend is a editor at five but it was always kind of that sort of nonsense wanky shit which i always hated but they were very clicky with their friends but i found nowadays maybe it's because of the influx of newer kids and younger kids who are coming up in the scene who are maybe not from london and are coming in a bit more wider because i found as well a lot of people that don't are not from here people that are from outside of Eng outside of london specifically or maybe parts of like scotland ireland wales that are coming over to london to make a life they're a lot more just you know eyes wide open you know arms are wide open and just ready to make new friends and shit a lot more hospitable than people from here which is maybe rubbing off on their natives i don't know but regardless i feel like nowadays people are a lot more open to make you new friends and make you that cringy to say but having you know people that they can kind of collaborate with quote unquote which makes the scene i think a lot more healthier um and it looks it makes it more genuine i think so i saw even when i went out over the weekend i saw a lot more groups of people hanging out getting to know each other in the smoking area getting to know each other in the toilets and shit you know just general shit but actual relationships are being kind of formed on that sort of dance floor which you don't really see a lot um you know back in my day it was maybe people trying to hook up or maybe trying to score drugs and whatnot people aren't really trying to make friends a lot and i think that's a really really good thing to see but you know there is no better in my head there's no bitter blow or more debilitating blow than a friend say they don't hang out with you it's probably better when they just kind of slowly but surely this is a self me or you kind of stopped calling each other that's one thing but when they just say no more i do not want to be your friend it's like off 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 it's probably the only thing that's feeling that's worse to that is probably when you're a dude and you've only been to like first base with a particular girl and then something happened and you fumbled the bag on a second base third base whatever and then you try and revive it <laughs> and it obviously doesn't work and you keep being a pest and you try to keep re relight that flame and you message them and then they just radio message leave you on scene and then block you <laughs> that's probably the only thing again it's not me i'm just talking you know hypothetically speaking that's probably the only kind of feeling that could maybe be similar to that or somewhere along that kind of line but I don't know, man. Let me know in the comments down below what, what do you think in it. What's worse, friendship breakups or relationship breakups? I'd love to know your thoughts.